Hey, Jessica, good to see you again. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my championship acting skills. Uh, we were talking earlier, and by the way, we're talking with Jessica Lynn, who um, is rapidly becoming a favorite of mine. What were some of the early problems that you felt in terms of um, how the process was affecting your creativity, and how did you come to solve those problems? I know you get offered a lot of equipment and stuff in terms of your band and yourself. Well, as just a singer-songwriter and not a producer or an engineer, it was always very frustrating to me when I had a, so a song idea or a lyrics or something or guitar riff and I needed to get it down and I always had to ask for help to get the recording studio up and running and to get plugged in and then, you know, by the time the 20 minutes goes by, you plug in everything and finding your mics and all that, sometimes your spark is gone and that's what's so cool about something like the Track Factory that you can get an idea and then get it down right away and you don't need to rely on anybody else for it. Um, but to speak to your point about being offered equipment and things, I've been really lucky to be touring the last few years and um, have two shows on television and um, my band and I get offered a lot of stuff like, hey, can you play this guitar in your television special or, you know, can you sing in this microphone? And I think it's so important as an artist um, to only take on products and things that you're truly passionate about. Um, and the same for a company. You don't want somebody repping your stuff that doesn't really believe in it or use it. And um, Tascam is just an incredible company. And I think that every singer-songwriter, the average singer-songwriter like me, um, can truly benefit from having something so easy to use that can really help your creativity run and not be stifled. How did you solve the problem? Well, I started working with Tascam um, this year. I was actually introduced to them at NAMM oh, in California, okay. which is one of my favorite places to go. I mean, it's just so cool that you can be in one place with musicians and people that love music and understand music from all around the world. Um, and they had told us about this amazing new system that they had called the Track Factory. And it's pretty much a recording studio in a box. And I don't say that lightly. It literally is that. And so with your massive and newfound engineering skills, it was, uh... <laughs> did it fit your skill set? <laughs> well, the thing that was so awesome about it, and I honestly, I was skeptical when he said, oh, I got this great new thing and it's really so easy. I was like, okay, we'll see. Um, and I literally was able to set it up in a matter of minutes without reading any instructions. And I'm, I swear to that. Um, I actually hate reading instructions, anything. If I have to put together a table or, I mean, anything, literally, I will sit there for hours and try to do it before I will pick up that book. It's just the most frustrating thing to me. And I, not knowing anything about how to set up a recording studio, I literally took every piece out of the box, assembled it, and was up and running within 15 minutes. That's pretty cool. So that's extremely cool. So the, 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 it's not just one thing, it's an entire package, complete, everything you need, headphones, microphone, a little computer, um, headphones, did I say headphones? Um, all, everything you need, just plug, in, plug it in and go. It, does it, what, what do you use for a monitor? I actually use my television as a monitor. <laughs> um, when I'm, as long as, it has an HDMI, um, it because you need a mini HDMI cable out of the little Nook computer that it comes with by Intel, and you can just hook it up to any monitor. Um, and I think it's really cool to kind of just sit on my couch in my living room and set it all up on the coffee table and have this nice big like recording studio monitor in front of me. Um, but it's... It's really been a blessing for someone like me. Um, and that was the first time I ever put it together by myself. It took about 15 minutes. I bet now that I'm kind of a whiz at it, I could do it in like well, five, don't get, don't get five cocky. to seven minutes. Don't get cocky now. You're not going to set up a shingle and like start mixing, are you? <laughs> no, I don't think okay. so. Man, technology has come such a long way. It, the, the track factory just solves so many problems and, and sounds so good. Real quick, uh, we both have a history with Tascam in our past. How did you come 
Um, I heard you talking something about your dad introduced you to some Tascam gear back in the day. Mine was an 80-8. Wow. When I was a kid, about 10 years old, my dad gave me a little four-track um, Tascam cassette recorder. Um, yeah, I, I think it was called the Mini Studio, the one that we had. And I remember clearly, like it was yesterday, recording my very first songs on that thing. Um, oh, like perfect. learning to play guitar and trying to figure out how the riffs that I was thinking would go over the chords that I was putting down and throwing harmonies in. And, and um, then when I got a little bit older, I graduated to the eight track, which is so exciting. <laughs> and I actually had it on a little like um, childhood type of table, the little mini table and chair sets right in my bedroom. So I would just sit in there for hours and learn how to record and put music together. And that's so special to me because really music is a journey. Even now I'm constantly on this journey of evolving and learning new things and new gear and new products that can help me get better and grow as an artist. And um, to still be with Tascam after all these years and to have them along with me for that journey is something that I think is so, so special. Yeah, it's a good company. I've always, there's not a whole lot of companies in audio that you can just trust the name and buy whatever they make and be happy. And Tascam's certainly at the top of my list. So uh, going back to the track factory, the microphone, the headphones, all those you found to be good quality? I mean, great quality? Really good. Um, and everything was just in the box. Like, it was so, so, so easy. One thing I hate is kind of running around the house like, oh, where did I put that cable, you know, that I, that XLR or whatever. And um, I, I really am not exaggerating where you take it out, plug it in, and you are up and rolling. And one of my favorite things, too, that I didn't even realize until I was using it recently, they even have all the international adapters for it in wow. the box already. Right. And I was like, how cool is this? When I, I was overseas for two months this summer touring, um, and we were in six different countries, how cool is it that if I bought the track factory along and needed to record, I can easily write in that box again, just pull out whatever I needed and get going. The, the, the track factory uses DAWs, and uh, there's quite a wide variety that it, it uses. Which one is the DAW that you prefer? Sonar. Sonar. Um, I've, I've been using sonar ever since I, I was a little kid. That's what my dad always used. Um, so that's what I learned to use as I grew up. And I knew it at a very, very basic level. As I said, I always kind of needed help getting set up. Um, but it was really, really cool that I was able, literally, like I said, to just plug in and start using it myself. Um, I didn't even need any help setting up the program at all because it's so cool. It pops up on your TV or whatever monitor you're using. You click sonar and you're literally in and ready to record as long as you hit the record button. And do you, um, do you ever notice any latency of any kind, all of those types of things that seem to plague other uh, systems like this? There's no latency on this. No. I had literally not a single problem using it. Even um, on the top right hand corner in the program in Sonar, right when, right when you open it up, um, actually last night I was playing around with it, there's a ton of drum, drum loops in there, there's even um, auto-tune in it, um, backing tracks, even for someone that just wants to grow as a player, I mean you could easily sit set this up, like I said, in five minutes, plug yourself in, record, practice over any type of, they have pop backing tracks, blues, country, ballads, fast songs. I mean, anything that you could ever want was literally right there at your fingertips and all you had to do was click on it to get going. Sounds like um, this is a creative tool more than a technical tool for you, right? Well, listen, um, so you'd highly recommend it, right? I do, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I've been touring the, the last several years, and um, my, I'm really at a, a very happy place right now in, in my career, and I've worked really, really hard um, to get here. And I, um, I think that it's um, really, I totally forgot where I was just going with that. I had such a good point, and now I forgot. Well, I got a good point for you. Where can people find you, and how can they get in touch with you? 
Well, um, my website is jessicalynnmusic.org, and I'm on Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff, too. Um, usually, if you search Jessica Lynn Music or Jessica Lynn Country in Google, you can find anything. J-E-S-S-I-C-A-L-Y-N-N. Yes. Dot, dot com. I'm Listen. so mad I forgot my point. <laughs> well, I forgot your name, so we're even. Uh, <laughs> so we're even. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just have to do this again, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. Listen, thanks so much. It's a pleasure talking to you, and good luck. Can't wait to hear your stuff. I'm going to get off here and go to your website and check some things out.